We're going to be talking relationships this morning, and uh, I have joining me on the set uh, Melissa Award, who is the co host of Art and Soul and a co host of 30 Minutes. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Happy New Year. And, um, happy New Can Year. Can we say that like 10 days into the year? Still new. It's still new. Yeah. It's fresh. Mm. Yeah. I think till like the 15th or we should wait till the end of January. Just wait till the end of January. Just wait till the end of January. Okay. Yeah. So this morning, I want to f talk about the issue of flirtation. Hmm. Hmm. And if you're in a relationship, how should you be flirting with another person? Mm. Is it allowed? Is it not allowed? What are the boundaries? What is flirtation? Let's start with that. Exactly. When you say flirting, what's what's flirting? Exactly. I yeah. think I think every I think there's a general concept, but I think individuals have um, their own definitions of flirting. That's mm. why people get annoyed in relationships because one person may be like, "I wasn't flirting," another mm. person says, "Yes, you are." So once you're in that relationship. You know, you have to define what is flirting. I mean, yeah. we have the obvious ones like the over complimenting or even uh, suggestive kind of uh, talks and words. And then you have the physical flirtation. No, but uh, Melissa, why are you, you smiling? Over, you said over complimenting. <laughs> oh, we touched on it. What's an, what's, an, <laughs> uh -huh. what's an over compliment? Um, I mean, you have the compliments like, oh, you look nice, yeah. or your makeup is pretty, or your hair is... I mean, let's just say to, going from a man complimenting another yes. woman while he, yeah. he has a girlfriend or yeah. wife. Yeah. Um, and then there's, hey, this dress, dear, hmm, the way it fits your body, is it necessary? You get it. Okay, so, so that's what you're defining as over-complimenting. Yeah. Okay can be a form of over-complimenting. Mm. And you see, the thing is, it may not be over-complimenting when you're single. Okay. It could just be the way you compliment. But when you're in a relationship, mm. it could change. Okay. It could then become over-complimenting. Okay. So that's like you're, you're walking the fine line of maybe being inappropriate. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, no, I'm just thinking about what you just said and the way you described it. So there's a bit more of a body language factor to it. There's a bit more of it. It's nuanced. So yeah. it's like, hey, this dress, dear, mm -hmm. the way it fits you. Mm -hmm. It's I like you're, you're suggesting something. Yes, exactly. And so that's where the problem is. Mm -hmm. That's where the problem can be because it's just going from complimenting to now being suggestive. Okay. You know, like you've just upped it a notch when you could have just left it at you look nice. Okay. It kept it moving. <laughs> okay. But can you ever say you look nice and it's still flirtatious? Of course. It's in the way you say it at the end of the day. But I think if you go the extra mile to let someone know that it's making you feel a certain way, mm. I think that's borderline inappropriate. Some people just naturally friendly, over-friendly and flirtatious. And if you know that's who you are and it makes your partner uncomfortable and you obviously you care and love your partner, you have to, you have to adjust, mm. you know, if, if, if you know that it's, it's causing problems because it could be naturally, you don't want to take away from who you are, but at the end of the day, if it's just going to cause huge issues, is it really worth arguing over every single time? Is it okay for someone who has a very confident partner, mm -hmm. confident in themselves, and they trust you. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for such a man to flirt with others just because she's okay? I would ask why. Are you trying to compensate, overcompensate? Is it to make you feel better? Like, oh, she looks like she's got it. Like, she's you know, she's confident in herself. So maybe I should also, so I don't feel, I would ask ah, those questions. Okay. Why? Why are you, because then it becomes a competition, you mm. know, and that happens a lot, unfortunately, in relationships. Um, I come from a region where it is known that the men are very friendly. Yeah. And flirtation. So if you know where I'm from, I'm not here to stereotype people, but <laughs> well, I don't necessarily consider it a negative thing. I know yeah. my people. So, you know, a lot of times uh, it can be misconstrued for something else. Mm. And and I'm, I'm quite a confident person. So, but I look out for those things. Is my partner trying to overcompensate? And if so, then maybe I need to kind of also strike a balance. 
so that that person doesn't feel uncomfortable and feel they need to now be somebody maybe who they're not flirt a little bit you know there's definitely always two sides you mm. can't just put it on just one person and we also have to check our insecurities as well okay as people it's very okay. important all right so is it ever okay to flirt <sighs> because we defined what is flirting <laughs> um it's uncomfortable so we'll say it's not okay but you have to know who you signed up with with exactly yeah. not for with who you signed up with um some people <clears throat> shrug it off mm. so i'll say is it ever okay <clears throat> it's really relative okay if it makes you uncomfortable if it makes you insecure then obviously it's not okay have to strike a balance or talk to your partner. Um, like me personally, I don't have a problem with you complimenting someone. I don't, it's, it's like, that's nothing. That's mm. fine, you know. Mm. You know, let, let's be realistic. Just because the person is with you, don't act like, you know, they can't appreciate something, but to what degree, you know. Um, but then physical touch to me is a problem. Okay. I'm not talking about hugs. Hugs, you know, the, um, what do you call them, the... Uh, pleasantries and all of that the kisses if you want to do european and all of that good stuff um on the cheek and whatnot but then like grazing somebody's back and okay. you know things of that nature you have a partner i i definitely think that is 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 inappropriate some couples do it actually they are a couple and they are okay with it and they they just see themselves around the room and they're flirting all over the place i don't know what's with going others. on others yeah with others mm. and then they come back to each other i don't know what they have going on but clearly there's an understanding, you know, or misunderstanding, whichever mm. way you want to look at it. But if it makes your partner uncomfortable, uh, you two go back to the drawing board and see, you know, what strikes a balance for you both. Mm. Wow. Wow. So let's go back a little bit again and look at the fundamentals of what we're talking about mm. here. Flirtation. Let's look at the issue of body language mm -hmm. versus words mm -hmm. okay can somebody silently or let me say without words be flirtatious without ever using words of course okay so let's flip it mm -hmm. if you're using only words and you never touch someone mm -hmm. can that also can the person also can somebody also be flirtatious yeah it's the way it's the way you say it or the way you do it and then also the way it's interpreted like me you can flirt with me sometimes i'll never notice because mm. no what i'm looking out for okay. <laughs> my mind is in so many different places someone can come back and say oh but i was giving you hints i'm like listen hints does not work mm. for melissa mm. so sometimes it can go over my head mm. and then other times i'm like is that person flirting with mm. me? You know, it really mm. depends how you interpret it okay. at that time. But there's, you know, there's obvious, like I said, there's general scopes, like there's obvious ones, you know. Um, but you can definitely do it with just body language. You know when someone's trying to catch your attention, they look at you for too long, they linger, there's a smile, you're like, hey, okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> of course, of course. Non-verbal communication. Mm. So, when is flirting or flirtations when are flirtations welcome if you like the other person <laughs> if you like the other person or you're you're equally as attracted to the other person i don't I, doesn't that make the whole mix a little complex then would, would like you I mean, have to wait to see if the yeah, person <laughs> I mean, I understand. you know um, it's like you're just you know shifting the goalposts yeah uh i think um it's risky, isn't it? It is. So, excuse me. It's 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 risky because you may want to flirt, and then it's either fifty fifty. Yeah. It could either go your way or not your way. Um, I don't necessarily think that actually you have to like be romantically attached or like somebody. Um, you can just have that kind of natural. Um, you can just be drawn to them, and a little bit of flirtation comes out, and then if they are receptive, mm. then you're like, oh, okay. But it doesn't have to go anywhere. It doesn't mean the other person. Has to respond. Has to, to respond to it. Yeah. But if they don't feel uncomfortable, then mm. maybe you're like, okay, then we have an understanding and keep it moving. Okay. If you're not in a relationship. If you're not in, a, that's a very good one. Key. So the key thing is <laughs> mm -hmm. that you shouldn't be in a relationship if that's going to be okay. Yeah. Once you're in a relationship, it's completely unacceptable. Because it, it, there's there's a respect level you need to have. 
you know, and some people try to for use it. For your partner. For your partner and mm. for yourself. You know, you have to respect yourself too. Um, some people think, oh, well, you know, this is how I was when I... That's a very... Uh, that's a very sketchy mentality to I've have. I've always been like this. Yeah. Then stay this there. Who and, I am. Yeah, then date yourself, really and truly. Then date mm. yourself. You know, if you want um compromise should bring out the best in each other, you and your partner, mm. at the end of the day. It gets tough and it can get difficult and a little uncomfortable. But once you see the long term goals, compromising should be a way of growth and strength. You know, I come from a family on my dad's side, we're very affectionate physically. Um, so if you're not, and my mom's side, no, my mom's side is more the verbal. I love you, okay. this and that. My dad's side is more the, you know, the touch. Are you okay? Mm. Or you don't notice that you're rubbing someone on the back or something like that. So I can understand, like, I have to, when I'm in a relationship, I have to realize that that might not be okay. I don't have any intentions behind it. Yeah. It's just not, it's just embedded in me to comfort somebody with a touch yeah. you know as long you know trying to be as appropriate mm. as i can but for my partner they may not have grown up like that mm. or they may men are naturally territorial y'all yeah. are naturally territorial and yeah. jealous women yeah. too but more so men so just the mere fact a man is breathing next to your woman can get on your nerves how much more if she was to reciprocate yeah you know so that's where the level of understanding <clears throat> has to to come in but what i found though is that when a woman and tell me if I'm wrong or right or wrong. If a woman is comfortable in public um, with others knowing that she's in a relationship, she's comfortable to be friendly towards another man, mm -hmm. typically there's not much going on between. There, there, is, there really isn't anything that's... Between her and the other man. Yes, and the other man. Anything substantial. Mm -hmm. If there is something substantial going on between them, it's not likely to come out in the physical expression. Right. Mm -hmm. Am I? Um, yeah. No, what yeah. I'm uh, yes and no. Some people are just more discreet than others when it comes to these things. Like, for instance, also flirting can be inappropriate when, especially when you're in public and you really don't have anything going on with the person you're not dating, and you know your hands are all over the place. You know, th there are just general places where we know. You are trying, it's, it's borderline trying to suggest, like for instance, uh, placing of the hand on the, on the uh, lower back of a woman versus the shoulder or like the bridge, you know, across mm. her, the width uh -huh, mm. um, and things of that nature. So when you're out in public and, 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 and a man is being physically flirtatious or a woman too, women do it too, yeah. there is a suggestion that something could be going on and that can make someone uncomfortable at the end, especially if they're, they're not even on, 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 on a friendship level, if that makes mm, sense. Mm. Um, it, it depends on the person. It depends how you want to be perceived at the end of the day. If you have a great friendship with someone and, you, and maybe you're a bit touchy and you really don't care what people say, that's up to you. But if you don't want the backlash, of, hey, Chale, you too, and all of this, then just keep it very genuine. Years ago, years ago. Tell us your story, then. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know your story. Yes, years ago. My stories, they are plenty. So I you, know. You can know all my stories now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But years ago, um, an ex mm -hmm. of mine, um, I used to be really upset every time. We were, we were just a group of us, right? And every time um, we were in the group, there were two particular guys that she was really, you know, she really liked them as friends, mm -hmm. you know. Um, at, at this point, I was in the chase, okay? Yeah. She wasn't yet my girlfriend. Right, so I was in the chase, and but she knew I had interest, and she was also sort of, you know, not opposed to it, but we hadn't finalized anything or agreed I anything secured yet. any deals. Uh huh. No secure. <laughs> we hadn't secured any deals yet. <laughs> but every single time she would see either of these two guys, I'm sorry, I'm smiling already. She would just, you know, like, gravitate hey, towards <laughs> you know, and then she very excitedly go and hug them and all that. And he used to make me <laughs> mad. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, you saw me two minutes ago. I didn't get this reaction from you. Mm -hmm. Why are you expressing yourself like this to them? Mm -hmm. You know, but that's what made me realize that she's actually not expressing herself in that way to me mm -hmm. because when she, it, because she feels something for me. 
Do you see? She actually feels something genuine for me. The light bulb went off. The, no, I mean... No, I, I mean, like, you had that moment, like, aha, uh -huh, I get it. Yes. <laughs> you know, so, so for me, I realized that, okay, let's not, you know, get our, our shoelaces in a bind, mm -hmm. you know, because really, I'm not on a losing end in this situation, you know, but... I was a bit concerned that she seems overly bubbly around them. People are watching us and people have some of these experiences. Mm -hmm. What is it that you would say as a woman? Mm -hmm. Okay, look at the scenario of painting. And I experienced this personally, right? right? What, did, did I have a, any reason for concern? Should I have had any reason for concern? And even though nothing came of their friendship, could something have happened? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm still, you know, still. I think the jury's out there. I mean, I did date her eventually, you know, mm -hmm. and so on. Right. But, I mean, I still think about it a lot. Um, you had valid questions, obviously, and valid reasons for concern, definitely. It's not something to brush up, but it's, it's a huge misconception that men have. And, and I laugh not to mock. I laugh because it's amusing, because men typically take that whole, she's excited uh, over this person, this person makes her laugh, so she must, not at all. At the end of the, it, it's, it's some, maybe some, I can't speak for all women, but mm. I, 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 I have been in that shoe before where I generally am excited to see a friend mm. um, but have an absolutely zero romantic interest then of course there is the, there's a the more concerning concern where could there have been a romantic interest but yeah. typically she sounds like the person where she likes to keep what is hers private so the real affection she had for somebody, she, she doesn't want it to be all over the place. Yeah. And with good reason. If that was her genuine heart, then with good reason. I, I share those same sentiments at the end of the day. I'm not going to be displaying it all over the place. But if you see me with him, you see me with him. Mm. You can ask. I'll tell you. Yes. Thank you very much. You know. But um, if I see it makes it... There's a level of understanding that, like, you know what? I am in a, in a healthy... I mean, I'm in a relationship. Uh, so maybe I can tone it down. You know, because mm. then also it can make the partner look some type of way. You know, you weren't in the relationship yet. No. But once you are, it can also make the guy look some type of way. You okay, so let's, let's, let's quickly jump into that space. Mm -hmm. so, so I did eventually get into a relationship. Right. But that whole thing didn't stop. It didn't stop. How did it make you feel? Um, did you ever ask? Were there questions? I, well, we talked about it. And, and that's what she explained. Ridiculous. That I don't feel anything for them. Mm -hmm. That's why I do it so liberally and so freely. I, I really don't feel anything. Because there's no there's intention. There's no intention. Mm. You know, so I was like, okay. But I still don't like it. But did it make you feel as though you were less of a partner when you were in public, when she would do it in front of you? Or was it more internal? Or did you feel like everybody's watching so I'm embarrassed? Because I think that's maybe, where maybe the issue... Maybe that. Okay. Maybe that. Okay. Yeah, but then I think it's also this element of the territorial thing where, you know, you're trespassing on my, in yeah. my garden, what you're doing here kind of thing. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah. is there validation for that? Um, you want to be validated. You want to be validated. You want to mm. be like, it's me. I'm the only one. And in her head, it's like, obviously, you're the only one. Don't be concerned about these people here. Yeah, but they don't matter. They don't matter. But to you, it's like, they do they're here, they're in my space, like, shoot. You want validation. Every partner wants validation. Sometimes you don't get it the way mm. you want it. That's why you have to communicate. That's why sometimes you see men that have been well uh, groomed, groomed yeah. and you see that they catch themselves and then they start holding onto their partner's hand, you know, to make sure they don't run off somewhere, something like that, um, just because they've, they've grown with their partner. But you had valid concerns, but honestly, it's a bit of a mis misconception. Really? It is. And I think hopefully the older we get or m the more maturity kicks in, we can see that there's just some things are not necessary. Okay, so, you know. so when you're somebody like me who... Very nice human being. PDA. Mm -hmm. You know, public, uh -huh. public display of it affection is, true, is a big deal to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. You know, I have no reservations whatsoever showing the person I care about that, hey, let the whole world know <laughs> that I'm into this, mm -hmm. okay? Um, that can 
also be a little uncomfortable for some people when they don't like public display of affection, mm. but you like it. And they know you like it. They're not delivering it to you as the partner, mm. but you are being nice to others. Mm. Wait, does that mean that they are showing PDA to others no. and not you? Ah, they're showing... They are not showing PDA to you, mm -hmm. but when you are showing PDA to others, so because they're not showing PDA to you, you you're also not doing it because you know they don't like you it. You want to collect your PDA? I want to collect my PDA and now. I'm showing it to up. others. Quick, <laughs> good day. Uh huh. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Ten seconds. I didn't accept the PDA, but you too. That's <laughs> petty. That's next level oh, pettiness. Oh really? Like, it's like you have to give your PDA away. It's like I must give this okay, thing away so by force. Is flirtation ever okay? <sighs> if it causes problems in the relationship, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, we've been speaking to Melissa Award, uh, who is the host of Art and Soul and the co-host of Thirty Minutes about flirtations in relationships. Um, is it ever okay? Well, uh, Melissa says, if it's going to cause problems in your relationship, no, it's not. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV.